Today we will be completing a demonstration of two tube skylight domes sold on the market. The dome on the left is a solar tube 290 daylighting system with Raybender 3000 technology. The dome on the right is a standard cleared dome. Both these domes have been engineered to redirect sunlight down into your home. For this demonstration, I have created two orange paper cutouts that will demonstrate how Fresnel lens technology is required to impact the direction of natural light. These orange discs will demonstrate in reverse how light rays are bent and redirected. We will now start in an easterly aspect and transition across the dome as the sun would on a typical winter's day. As the sun rises in the east, you can see the orange colour lifting up into the dome, demonstrating the reverse impact of the Raybender 3000 technology. This simulation shows how a light rays would be reflected and redirected down towards the position of the orange discs, allowing the dome on the left to capture a substantially more amount of low angle sunlight. As the sun sets in the west, we can see the same Raybender 3000 technology redirecting the orange colour while no impact can be seen by the engineered dome on the right. Starting again in the east, we'll now demonstrate how lens technology can affect performance during those hot summer months. At sunrise, you can see the orange colour lifting up into the dome. As the sun rises higher in the sky, emulating the peak heat hours of summer, you can see the orange colour starting to disappear in the Raybender 3000 technology. This allows the dome on the left to reject that heat and overpowering glare during those crucial couple of hours. As seen in the engineered dome on the right, there is no visual impact on light rays and therefore allows the full summer heat to enter your home. As the sun starts to set in the west, you can see the dome on the right has no impact on the orange disc, while the Raybender 3000 has turned back on to extend the light in your home far beyond that of any other product.